VeChain at the time of this recording is seeing a bit of a breakdown move after an aggressive bounce to the upside in a move that has now given us a high above the 0.027 and at the time of this recording we are holding below the 20 day MA here on the 1 hour chart which is now acting as resistance we are also losing a key area of support above the 0.02497 and on today's video I will be giving you the key areas of supports that we need to continue holding above and above all discuss my long term price prediction analysis so make sure that you stick around till the end of the video and starting the video here on the one hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening after we made our lows on the 6th of September you can see that we saw a very nice recovery to the upside where we first picked in a five wave structure over here in a move that gave us a high above the 0.02283 completing the formation of this larger ADU12 count one and after we picked in that ADU12 count one we started a bit of a short term pullback in this larger ADU12 count two whose minimum target areas we fully maximized and started a very nice bounce to the upside in what I was terming as an impulsive ADU12 count three whose minimum target areas I gave you in my previous videos by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of this ADU12 count one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618 and that is above the 0 0.0639 which is an area that we fully maximized and there are very high chances that we now have a high in place for that ADU12 count 3 and whatever is playing out at the moment is the start of a short term pullback in an ADU12 count 4 whose minimum target areas can be given by pulling the fibs from the low of the second wave to the high of this ADU12 count 3 giving me a minimum pullback target area into the area between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.382 and that is between the 0 0.02462 and the 0 0.02388 and this is the area that I'm expecting that Fetch AI is going to fully maximize in the next coming hours continue holding within the area and expect a reversal from this area over here in a bounce to the upside in an ADU12 count 5 which can easily give us a break above the 0.03 in the next coming days or maybe hours so that is the price action that I'm expecting and in case we break to the lower side of this target area over here then I will be expecting our last line of support above the FIB level 0.618 to continue holding and that is above the 0.02313 jumping to the daily chart to now give you my long term price prediction analysis you can see that we got our bear market lows last year uh, down there then started a very aggressive bounce to the upside in a move that gave us a high above the 0.055 uh, 7, 6. and after we saw that bounce we picked in a negative count one then whatever I was expecting next after we picked in a negative count one was a bit of a corrective structure in a negative count two whose minimum target areas I have highlighted on the charts using this blue target area an area that we have now fully maximized and there are very high chances that we have a low in place for the second wave and in the next coming days or maybe weeks we are going to start a very aggressive bounce to the upside in an ADU12 count 3 whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that ADU12 count 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the FIB level 1.618 and that is above the 0 0.06 the 0 0.08627 then from that point I will be expecting a short term pullback in a wave 4 then continue pushing even higher in a wave 5 getting us back above the 0 0.1 dollars and here on the daily chart we have also seen a break to the upper side of this descending trend line which is an indication that we have started to see a change of structure of this downward movement over here 
and in case of any sudden pullbacks then we might get a retest of these uh trend line over here before we can finally continue pushing even higher so that is the price action that i'm expecting on the v chain chart for the next coming hours and also days and let's be patient and see how that plays out and i will be keeping you up to date